Right, okay guys, welcome to another 8-bit face-off kerfuffle. This week I'm going to be taking a look at Cocatini Wolf, released in 1984 by Elite Systems. Now, I always uh, thought this game looked completely shit. The graphics I always thought were rubbish looking. So anyway, let's have a little play of it. This is the Amstrad CPC 4641. So, let's go, here we go. So you apparently play the part of a winged... You actually look like a bee in this version. I'm sure Cocatini Wolf is some sort of uh, Greek mythology type thing. If anybody knows what it is, then let me know. Now, I don't know what the, the idea of the game is. Pressing fire button appears to do absolutely nothing. Oh, did I just die there? Yeah, you don't want to get hit with the uh, the dinosaur tail. What's that across there? Right, now I've just noticed there's no score in this game. Did I just die there? I think I did. Right, it looks like the idea of the game. Is that a seagull or something? Who knows? Graphics are pretty shit, I have to say. I did play the Commodore 64 one briefly. Is that a bat? I think it must be. Ah, oh, bollocks. Now, I was quite surprised to actually see this uh, on the Amstrad. I didn't realise that I thought the Amstrad came after this game actually got released. It was probably one of the earliest uh, Amstrad games. Graphics, it's very green. Oh, there's a snake. It's very, very green. <laughs> I don't know why. You notice there the screen is tiny. I mean, half the screen is taken up with the score and these kind of clawed hands holding a, I don't know what it is, a crystal ball or something. I don't know why they had to. Why couldn't have made it? Bigger screen, I don't know. Oh, bollocks. Come on, move. But your fire button appears to do absolutely nothing. I don't know whether he... Do you get guns or weapons later on? Right, it looks like... It, you notice it doesn't even say game over. It just throws you right back to the start. And the fact that, you know, you've started a new game is because you can see your lives have gone back up to six, I think it is. So anyway, that's the Amstrad one. Let's take a look at the Spectrum one. Right, okay, this is the ZX Spectrum one. Let's get going. Now, right away, I think the graphics in this one definitely look nicer than the Amstrad one. Are we picking up? Arse. I'm not overly convinced on the actual main character. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Oh, 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 oh! Avoid the snake! <laughs> ah, damn it! I need to go up this way. I think. Now, with this one, you hold down the fire button, and it makes you fly. Kinda a wee bit like Joust, pressing the fire button, like so, yeah. Trying to avoid the spit from the dinosaurs. And the graphics are actually pretty good. I mean, obviously they're, they're monochrome, but they actually look a lot better. They definitely look better than the Amstrad one. I'll definitely give it that. Items. 
Come on, up you go. Always like games like this where you've kind of got to explore. It's actually quite fun. Ah, damn it! How am I going to get along here? Let's. Uh, I think if I go over here. Does that thing go all the way down? It does actually, so what I need to do is drop down here and then sit in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, balls. Is that a pterodactyl, I think, with one wing by the looks of things? Sharks. You know what? For it's it's quite a simplistic looking game, but it's actually quite good fun, and it's not overly difficult. Right, anyway, listen. That is the Amstrad. Not the Amstrad one. This is that is a Spectrum one. I should say. Let's take a look at the last one, which is that there Commodore sixty four. Right, okay, this is the last one. This is the C64. And I notice uh, it's been programmed by the guy that did uh, Airwolf on the, uh, on the C64. Which was a really nice game, but it was just too damn difficult. So anyway, this is the only one that I did play back in the day. I think I played it because it came on. I'm sure it was one of the games that was included on the Soft Aid. Say it thing, how do we start? <laughs> right, wait a minute, I need to change the joystick settings because it appears to be the other joystick port. There we go. Ah, balls, I've just instantly lost a life. Whoa! Right, now this one has got some major inertia. Yeah. I mean, that's me walking. If I turn to the left, it takes a wee while to kind of stop. Come on, how do we... Right, so to fly, you press up. Bloody hell! The inertia really makes this a lot more difficult. Okay, so you apparently get killed with a cloud. Oh, can we you go? <laughs> What's going on? Wait a minute, have we just discovered... I think we've just discovered a jet set, Willy, bug. Let me just try this again, out of curiosity. Well, not quite, but yeah. Go back and get this thing. Now, I've got no idea. I don't, I've got no idea why, who thought that Consider Yourself, which is a tune out of Oliver, would make a good tune for a game like this that's got dinosaurs and what have you. It just seems thoroughly random. Down again along. Right, where are we going now? Oh, avoid the spit. Yeah, the inertia really, really makes us. Oh, bloody hell, it makes it a lot more difficult. <laughs> I remember playing this for quite a bit on the C64 and looking at it now, God knows why. Right, you know what, I've, I've had quite enough of that. Um, okay, we've looked at three versions. In third place, I'm going to go for, and it doesn't get third place because it's the third best, it's because it's pish, I'm going to go for the C64 one. This is pretty awful. I don't like the inertia, the graphics are shit, and it's very, very difficult to play. Second place is going to be the Amstrad. The Amstrad one isn't too bad. 
Um, but I think head and shoulders above the other two versions is the Spectrum one. The Spectrum one's actually quite a good game. I like the fact that it uses the, the joystick button. Sorry, aye, the joystick button to actually fly. It's got better graphics. It actually plays fairly nice. Is it a good game? Not particularly. Um, it's one of the earliest games. You know, 1984 is pretty early for, for all these three machines. But uh, yeah, if you really, really want to play this game, and I strongly suggest you don't play it, if you do want to play it, I would 100% play the Spectrum one. That is it, guys. Um, if there's a game you want to see featured in this arcade, uh, not arcade perfect my arse, 8 bit face off kerfuffle, please put your comments down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching.